So it's been almost nine years since we saw Arma 3 drop, and today I can finally talk to you guys about the future of Arma. This has been a long time coming. I've been under NDA for a long time, kind of waiting to talk about this news. Today's the fucking day. My name is Big Fry. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. Let's get into it. So a press release has been sent out alongside a bunch of information regarding the Arma platform, and that includes Arma Reforger as well as Arma 4, or I should say, the road to Arma 4. The press release starts out by saying, Today, Bohemia Interactive invites Arma fans to experience the future of the series with a work-in-progress version of their next release, Arma Reforger. Simultaneously, Bohemia Interactive also confirms the development of the highly anticipated Arma 4. Arma Reforger, first and foremost, is available now on PC Early Access and Xbox Series X and S under their Game Preview program, and it will showcase the studio's progress on their new Infusion engine, which we've heard about earlier this year. You guys can play Armor Reforger right now. I'll have all the links down in the description. If you guys want to read about it, if you want to download it, everything is down there for you. But I think a lot of people were waiting for an Arma 4 announcement. The question is, what the hell is Arma Reforger? Arma Reforger serves as a platform for players to enjoy the new capabilities of Infusion, as well as provide valuable feedback for the ongoing development of Arma 4. Besides this, Reforger hopes to empower Bohemia Interactive's dedicated community of modders with an exciting new suite of integrated in-house infusion tools. So you can look at Arma Reforger as the stepping stone to Arma 4. I know that's going to disappoint a lot of people. Personally, when I heard the news, I was excited on one hand, but then at the same time, I was really anticipating after so many years that Arma 4 would be closer than it appears to be. We have this new game, Arma Reforger, which according to Bohemia is drawing from the successes of Arma Cold War Assault, which was their debut game. Arma Reforger returns players to the island of Evron and a familiar fictional 1980s setting. So it's obviously a Cold War gone hot setting similar to their first title. The terrain itself, part of the fictitious Malden Islands Archipelago has been reimagined and faithfully recreated with added improvements such as lakes, ponds, flowing rivers. The terrain spans an impressive 164 kilometers squared area containing 51 kilometers squared of landmass and it offers players a stunning environment to discover with dense forests, low rolling hills, mountains, patchwork fields, and towns inspired by the former state of Czechoslovakia. Now the biggest thing here in terms of playable content are two multiplayer game modes. The first of these is called Conflict, in which it's a team versus team deployment where players are compelled to work together in order to capture strategic positions from the enemy. You have base building and completing tasks. Combatants can earn battlefield promotions and rise up through the ranks in this ongoing battle amongst the island of Everon. Now, obviously, we have two factions, the U.S. Army and the Soviets, and each come with their own era authentic weapons, vehicles, and equipment. And there's also a smaller independent force with unique apparel that community veterans will quickly realize from the first game in the company's Milsim legacy. Now, the second game mode, which I think is going to be more interesting to to the, the overarching Arma community is the Game Master. Now, this is similar to what we had in Arma 3 with Zeus, in which it's a dynamic sandbox. One or more curators can take on the role of a Game Master, creating responsive combat encounters for other players. Designed with both newcomers and long-standing Arma gamers in mind, this fast-paced, mod-compatible mission maker ensures playthroughs are different every time. In addition to all of this, Armor Reforger is launching with access to an exclusive in-game platform for sharing user content named Workshop. Here, mods generated by PC users can be published for everyone to enjoy. So it's kind of like the Steam Workshop, only it's like a separate thing within Arma Reforger. And the cool thing about it is the mods can be made on the PC platform, but then when they're published, they can actually be experienced by people on console. So Arma Reforger is kind of a more casualized, streamlined Arma experience in which mods are still very, very prevalent, which is a good thing, but it's actually uh, lending itself to things like crossplay, where people on consoles can still experience some of the stuff, and it's just really cool. Furthermore, Bohemia Interactive are supporting the game's release with Workbench, which is a 
software package that provides the community with the very same tools used for development. Any user with a fair knowledge of C scripting should be able to add custom AI behaviors, audio and visual assets, or even new complete gameplay mechanics Artists can also import their creations using intuitive, streamlined workflows. Essentially, imaginative players will be able to explore Infusion to its limits and receive a crash course in Arma 4 modding well ahead of schedule. So, I've been under NDA and I've been holding on to this information for quite a long time at this point. I knew something was coming, we just didn't really know what it all entailed. For me personally, I really wanted to see more about Arma 4. To be honest with you, Armor Reforger is a cool piece of technology. You can jump in, you can play it right now. All the play sessions that I've tried to jump into, the servers have been empty because it's really just been a, a limited amount of content creators at this time. But I definitely want to jump in now that it's open to the public and we can all get in there and play games together. So I'm probably going to be streaming Arma for the next little while when I do jump in because I want to experience Reforger for what it really is. I don't have an opinion on it outside of the fact that it is a streamlined, casual Arma Cold War experience and I think for me I'm a little disappointed because I did want Arma 4. I felt like after nine years we would be seeing something Arma 4 related. I like the idea of a stepping stone that they can use to take to Arma 4. I just kind of wish they were further along in development of it but at the end of the day this is where we're at. The Arma platform as a whole is expanding. I like the fact that they're trying to reach consoles, and I'm just going to be completely honest, man. What I don't want to see going into Arma 4 is them casualize and streamline that experience so that it can be played on a console. I totally understand the want and the desire to reach out to consoles, and we've seen Bohemia do things like this with games like DayZ and games like Vigor, which was a console and I believe a Switch exclusive. I don't want to see Arma casualize and turn into something it's not to suit the console players. Personally for me, I'm a PC fan and I know console players are looking for more first person tactical mil sim experiences, but I don't want to see games change what it is about them to suit console players. I feel like games like Hell at Loose and Insurgency fit well on consoles because they were built from the ground up to support controllers and it's it just, it makes sense. When, when you have console gamers asking why Escape from Tarkov doesn't go to Xbox, it's because it doesn't make any fucking sense to do so. And I feel like console gamers asking Arma to, to go to consoles is a dumb fucking thing. That's why I think Arma Reforger is a good thing because it gives you guys a piece of the Arma platform to, to play and it's built from the ground up to suit your guys' play style. It's a, it's a lot more casual. Now, the release briefing that we got as content creators tells us that all future Armor releases are going to be multi-platform. So, Armor Reforger is a nice little console-type experience, but the question is, is what is Arma 4 going to be like? A lot of people who play Arma really enjoy the complexity. It's not a casual experience. It is a hardcore milsim experience with a lot of different keybinds, a lot of different add-ons and mods that we can do to make the game even more complicated than what they gave us so that we have more features. And when you take all of that and try to move it to a console streamlined experience, it loses pretty much its entire identity. And that is what I'm mainly concerned about when it comes to not Armor Reforger. I like the idea that they're trying to go to consoles, but the next iteration of Arma, Arma 4, Arma 5. I don't want a casualized, streamlined Arma experience. The only good thing that we can take from that, if they're trying to get it to run on consoles, it should be pretty optimized for the PC players out there. That's really the only positive I can see there. I really want them to prove me wrong. The only way they could pull this off is if the PC experience of Arma 4 is completely different and more, you know, built up and expanded upon than its console counterpart. And to me, that doesn't make sense from a development perspective. Why would they make two separate games for two separate audiences? They're going to try and combine it and make it playable in every category. But I'd be lying to you guys if I wasn't completely concerned about the future of the Arma franchise. And that's that's not to slight console players, but it's not going to be that same experience that we came up playing in Arma, Arma 2, and Arma 3. At the end of the day, if it's a good game, it's a good game. 
I just, after everything that I have seen in this industry over the past 10 years, I, I just feel like I've already seen the writing on the wall for where this franchise is going. I wish them the best. I believe in Bohemia. I think that they can pull off some great first person shooters. I just don't want to see the Arma franchise get butchered in the process. Make something new. If you want to do a more streamlined FPS, not so like expansive PC milsim like the Armas of old, make a new franchise and just call it that so that we don't have to keep tying our expectations to the name. That's really all it comes down to, right? It's the same conversations we've had with companies like EA and Ubisoft when they end up butchering franchises in search of more dollars. But you guys know me, I always fight for good first-person shooters, and if this leads to good first-person shooters, great. Fantastic. Let me know what you guys think down below. A lot of information got doled out in this video, and we're going to be playing this game a lot more to see just exactly what Reforger offers and where it's going to be going in the next few months to kind of get onto that road to Arma 4. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't. If you guys want to support the channel, become a member at 99 cents a month, or you can pick up a t-shirt at ttkapparel.com. That is my merch store. That's my apparel company. Get yourself something physical that you can rock. Play the fucking objective. We got new mouse pads coming soon. My name is Big Fry. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>